For three days now, the Northland neighborhood where Lisa Irwin lives has been surrounded by police, as you just saw, by news crews and cameras. And KMBC 9's Maria Antoni is there as well with a feel for how the community is coping with all of it all the time. Maria? You bet, and we've been showing you a lot of the house that's still surrounded by a lot of the yellow tape here, but this is the other side. You've got all kinds of equipment and news crews here covering, updating the daily developments. Whatever it takes. I mean, obviously, we have to have it here in order to find the baby, so it's okay. For this grandmother, it's all about the family of the missing girl. Today, we found the parents at the police command post in an animated conversation around midday that included the mother. We later learned that she and the baby's dad came here after hearing about police doing a morning search through some woods. We are told the parents thought there might be a break in the case. But that was not the situation this morning. And as you can see, the mother breaks into tears as the couple gets in the car to leave without the break they might have imagined. I um, pray for that little baby every day, all day long. And as I look at my two grandchildren and I think how special they are, I know that um, that family is going through a lot. And I feel for them. And I wish that we could hurry up and find that baby.